Yo, what's going on guys, it's Gary, today you guys a new tutorial and a Firewatch style kind of YouTube banner or Twitter header, what you guys are going to use it for. So well, right here on the screen you guys are going to see a little advertisement, a little kind of mock-up I did. In the beginning of the video you're going to see kind of three different styles I did. So well, it's really just a cool thing to do overall, it looks really clean, you guys can use this to your ability. So well, right now I'm going to show you a little more example. So right here you're going to have, let's just say you guys can want to change things, you guys can change the color. Oops. And uh, you guys can literally change anything just because it's so simplistic and so like little layers you guys can really change anything so I'm gonna put that on and you guys got this so that's just kind of three examples that I have I'm gonna tape this back off put this one back on it's a lot nicer so uh, basically it's a good this thing is really easy to make it looks really clean and uh, it's just so simplistic and people are gonna love it and you guys want to make this for clients make it for yourself stuff like that if you guys do not want to make any of these you guys want to pay for it, there's gonna be a link in the description below for my cell fi it's gonna be like two dollars or something for like a pack of five of them so uh to get right into the tutorial you guys are gonna need just internet access which i'm assuming you have if you're watching this video it's kind of like common sense here but uh, other than that you guys are gonna need kind of like a social icon pack or just go on like flat icon and find something so i'm using my social media pack just something really easy to use and uh Basically, all you want to do is start off on a regular kind of banner size. I'm using 1500 by 500, which is kind of like the Twitter size. And then you guys can either use like YouTube banner templates or something like that. I'm just kind of using the Twitter header size just because it's a lot easier. So uh, basically, all you want to do is go into Google and type in, excuse me, Firewatch wallpaper. If you guys are confused what Firewatch actually is, it's a video game for your PC. I'm pretty sure it could be an iPhone or something. But uh, I'm like 98% sure it's a PC game, and there's a bunch of little simplistic kind of uh, 2D stuff that they have, and uh, all of it looks really, really sweet. So we're gonna be doing something like this. So you guys can actually just scroll down and find kind of cool styles to mess with. So uh, you guys can do many styles with this. Let me just talk over this really quick. You guys can do like crazy amount of styles. You guys can follow that Polyscape tutorial I did with this. You guys can do anything you want. We're gonna be recreating kind of the logo and making something else kind of uh, flashy with this. So. Right here is gonna be wallpaper I'm using. It's got 7,000 by 276. So all I want to do is just copy it and then paste it in, hitting Control V. And you guys can just shrink this because since it's such a big file, you're gonna need some shrinking. And and that's fine. Don't really overthink it. I think the more simplistic you do it, the better it looks. Honestly, it's kind of the way it is. But uh, since you guys have this, the next thing you want to do is actually click your bottom background layer and then hitting Control T on that. And then just dragging your rulers in. I already have rulers placed in the middle. And you can't put one in the middle, but I kind of like putting my uh, text a little bit above the middle. It's just like a lot nicer to kind of look at. It's like eye level more. So now that you have that wallpaper kind of placed in, the next thing you want to do is just grab the uh, Firewatch logo. So if you type in Google, just Firewatch logo, something's going to pop up like this. And you know they found the right one when it has a little checkerboard background. This is kind of like a little tip for people that are trying to get logos. I want the checkerboard background is the one you want just because it's a transparent PNG. So kind of just uh, download that. I have one right here. And then drag in. There you go. Drag it into the layer, make sure it's above your background. Just kind of bring it in to the uh, to the side. Sometimes the whole thing's not like aimed in it correctly. So actually I'm gonna move this up just a little bit, make it more eye level. So now that I have that, I chose to use the orange one. So I wanna make it white now. So what I'm gonna do is just right click, blending options, color overlay, just make it white. Then make a new layer and then merge these two together hitting control E just so it's kind of like a white layer instead. So now this is when your creativity can come in mind. The text right here says Firewatch. You guys can change this. Let's say you want to type in uh, Bear Design. What you want to do is kind of make your color white of your text. And then go through your fonts or go into font.com. It's kind of fine one. And honestly, the font doesn't really matter necessarily. You can use a, like an Arial black font. Just kind of make it smaller what you can do is raise the height a little bit and then maybe space it out make it a little smaller and then you can put it right here where the text would be 
kind of line it up the best you can to kind of make it the way it would look. And then in the logo, just kind of delete the text in the background and then you have your stuff. So you can just recenter that if you want. This is when the uh, guidelines you made come in handy a lot. So yeah, see I was way off and putting this in the center. So you guys can basically do something like that. You can just add your text, you guys can do something. It just kind of makes it a little more customizable. So I'm gonna leave this like this because it just looks nice. And now what we can do is basically get your little social links and stuff. So I have a social media pack. You guys can either use this or if you guys go into Google, you can type in like flaticon.com. I made a whole separate video on this. If you guys wanna go watch it out, it'll be in the description below. You guys can just like search like Twitter and then a bunch of Twitter icons will pop up. So you guys can do it either that way or the way I'm doing it now. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just grab a bunch of logos and bring them in. Let's just say I'm gonna grab the Behance one. Come on, drag it in. There you go. We'll grab the Behance, um, Snapchat. Kind of places in. Let's just grab the YouTube one. And then, um, not Skype, not Selfie. What others is there to use? Maybe Twitch. All right. I'm not gonna use a Twitter one just because this is a Twitter header and I kind of get aggravated when people use Twitter logos for Twitter headers. Just kind of like doesn't make sense in my mind. So let's just say we're gonna grab these ones and then you guys can just pretty much bring them over in the middle and then just hit Control T a little bit and just resize them. Don't make them too big, don't make them too small. Just kind of put them into the nice little size. And then what you want to do is just drag it up until it's in the middle of the text. And then you guys grab like the one over to love the Behance one. You can bring that out there. Snapchat can go out like there. Maybe bring the Behance one a little more. Hit Control H to make sure those ruler things are coming up. YouTube and then Twitch will be dragged all the way to the end. And then this one's gonna be like 0.82 inches and this will be a one inch, just so it's a different thing. So zoom out, you guys have the logos and you guys have the stuff. What I'm gonna do actually just to make this kind of cleaner is right here, you're gonna see how this overlaps a little bit. And if you guys text or you guys kind of logos do that, don't worry, you guys can make something really cool about this. So let's just say it's the Behance logo that does it. You wanna do is grab your little pen tool it's kind of pen tool around this rock just because it's going to be like the foreground. It's going to be like the first thing that pops up into your face. And then it's hit control T and then delete. So it looks like it's just kind of behind it just a little bit. So obviously that's not going to matter too much because that's in the background. So uh, the next step you want to do, if you had those rulers that we did before, next thing you want to do is hit control R and make sure those little uh, inches things pop up and just drag this down to like here. Don't put it down to the bottom, just kind of drag it randomly. And then let's just say we're gonna make a new layer above the uh, background itself. So I'm gonna start working left to right and this is gonna be kind of like a flat uh, drop shadow kind of stuff. Just pretty much grab the corner of the B, bring to this corner, and then you guys can bring like up to here. And then you wanna fill with just kind of the black color so it's maybe my foreground color. And then the same thing. And it, you don't have to be perfect with this. Honestly, there's going to be uh, there's going to be errors in your banner. It's not like you have to make it perfect, but you want to do this for literally every logo. And it might seem like a hassle at first, but you'll see the uh, yeah. See, like, I'm not going to go bring that little finger all the way over. I'm just going to kind of guess where it is. But uh, it does take a little bit to do. But uh, honestly, if you guys want to take the time to make this banner, you gotta at least make it something correct. So pretty much like this. I'm actually gonna cheat really quick and do this whole entire logo first because that not nails out like the middle part. So you can see I'm kind of like skipping around. You see, like I don't have to like make it perfect. Like no one's gonna grab a ruler on my YouTube channel and make sure this is. If they do, I pray for you because it's kind of weird. But there are people out there that will do it, and they will message me on Twitter and they'll be like, "Yo, your uh, your banner you made is kind of like one eighteenth off an inch." And I'm gonna be like, "Cool." So 
I'm literally just kind of like having fun with this. You don't have to worry about it too much. I did, I did really mess up on that one though. So I'm gonna kind of finish this off really quick. So you can see that, are you serious? Maybe you do want to take your time on this. I don't really take my time on these things just because I know when I look at something, I don't really freak out about it too much. So, I'm just gonna guesstimate as of right now. My uh, art teacher would not be happy with me doing that, but it's all good. So we have the text done, and then you can just scroll over. Why is that like that? Sorry about all this clicking. Shout out to uh, Razer for making those really clicky mouse pads, or not mouse pads, but mouses and really clicky keyboards. Click, 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 click. All right, and then we'll take the Twitch one last. So now that you guys have this done, it probably took a lot quicker than mine just because I'm taking my time. Um, If you guys have logos that, let's just say, like Twitter or something or Skype that has little kind of white in the middle or something that's different like it has to be like a color inside just kind of cut that white color out because it's not going to want to be there when you're making your stuff so let's say you just guys have this so uh, if you guys hit control h and the ruler goes away it's perfectly fine you guys do not need that anyway um go back to where your behance thing came from go to that drop shadow and you basically want to just hit the drop shadow put the opacity down and do the same thing you did before with the e just cut it out Unless you want like a random drop shadow popping around the uh, guy, then you guys can do you. But I like keeping my things clean. So basically, this is what you got. Next thing you want to do is just grab a eraser, like a size like 300 or 250 or something. And you want to just keep erasing the bottom really slowly and kind of like going like a uh, an angle like this. Let me just grab a brush. It'll be easier if I show you guys what, what the angle I mean, except for explaining it, because my explaining skills are a little off. So you want to take it, and you want to bring the brush up like this, like a rainbow. It's really bad rainbow. Just keep going like that. So when it take it, it evens it all out. So you guys have this. So that's basically these, or this, not these, but this. And then the next thing you want to do, that you guys can either do yourself or something else, you want to take all these logos and merge them, hitting Control E, duplicate your background, and bring them up to the top, and then just hit Alt to the little uh, arrow with the box next to it drops down, and you guys can just click on that, and then just drag it downwards so it just brings the color down. And you guys can do the same thing for your logo. So let's put on the text first, bring it down, duplicate it, and then bring it on the logo next, and then bring it down. So you guys have this so basically this is kind of like the style of it you guys can add your own backgrounds and stuff um a lot of cool things that you guys can do is you guys have like a phase studio light leaks you guys can pretty much grab anything you want let's grab this orange one actually because i've already clicked on it bring it in let me try it again bring it in i'm telling you photoshop's having some issues right now there you go and then just pretty much drop it in and then you guys can just have like a nice glare on the side you guys can use a good brush to do that too but uh let's say that you want to change the kind of style of it let's change the kind of banner make something different if you guys go back to google where you came from and just grab kind of different wallpapers or something let's just going to grab this one view the image just copy it and then click the bottom paste it in and then just hide that background layer and then you guys can bring this up the only issue that you're going to come across though is this drop shadow that you deleted that's kind of the only main issue but honestly, worst comes to worst, you guys can just redo that one part. Let's just say you want to take it. Um, that's the easiest way to do this. You guys can delete that one. And... this make a little matchy matchy so you guys can basically get the point that all I do is kind of like remake it a little bit so you guys have this one what you can do is just duplicate the, the background again put it under the text 
duplicate the background again hitting control J over and over again put that just hide the other one and then the same thing and just hide it and what you want to do is just take it drag it down in each one and what it ended up doing is creates a cool little style so this is kind of like an interchangeable banner see it took 15 minutes but it was totally worth watching you guys can make a bunch of little stuff with this you can also not only drag it up but you guys can drag it down obviously if you want a darker kind of color it kind of looks a little nicer actually but uh basically that's how it works it has a really customizable flat design kind of style if you guys want any kind of other tutorials let me know in the comments below also if you guys are interested in getting kind of exclusive deals exclusive packs i'm um, just kind of checking out what's going on with my life i made a snapchat solely for youtube so go check it out in the description below it's called like bear snaps so definitely go add that there's a little scan thing there so you guys can click on that also below that you guys are going to see a video submission form you guys can submit your own videos if you guys want to like kind of submit an idea of what you want me to do or want me to upload other than that this is pretty much the tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.